guys, welcome back to my channel, Shoeing with Jimmy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the square fabric face mask. First thing first, why this mask is recommend. So today we are going to make this kind of fabric face mask with whip pocket for filter. It can be with this kind of rope or small elastic cord with lock cord string toggle like this. I will show you how to use this mask. It's fit because it's adjustable following your face with one knot tie to make it so simple and suitable for hijabers as well. This fabric mask is easy to make because of the simple square shape. We can make it with or without pattern. We can make it with shoeing machine or hand shoeing and it's covering your face until under the chin. Make sure that we don't touch the front part of the mask when taking it off. So, take off the knot, pull off the corner farther away from our face, take the cord over the head, so do not bring the marks upper our head. Tie a knot on the tips of the cord during the laundry, wash it with hot water, with ironing hopefully could help to increase the hygiene of these marks. Paper for pattern, fabric scissors, paper scissors, ruler, marker or pencil, pin needles, tape measurement, shoeing machine or needle and thread for hand shoeing, cotton fabric or you can use also cotton polyester, this is for the main fabric and lining elastic cord or you can use this kind of rope if you don't have both we can make it from the bias fabric to make the pattern we can use as an adult size or the kid size or also we can measure our own face measure the length from the nose to under our chin the measurement could be different on each face structure. The width measure from the cheek to other cheek. Also, we can cut straight away from the fabric without any pattern. So let's make it. Prepare the pattern for the pattern. We are going to make the standard size which is 70 by 70 cm. Make straight line here 17 cm and each side as well 17 cm. And under here 17 cm as well. So all around about 17 cm in each side. Make an arrow mark to upper part. After the base measurement, add the line in each side. For the folding, 2 cm and 1 cm for seam allowance, so it's about 3 cm in each side. In the other side up and down here, add 1 cm seam allowance. So this side added 3 cm, and this up and down side is 1 cm. the pattern including the seam allowance. So the actual size will be 70 by 70 cm when it's shown. So this is the upper part and the green line will be in this direction. Cut the main fabric from the front part. Put the pattern on top of the fabric. The green line is in this direction. Pin the needles all over around. Cut 
cut the fabric following the pattern. The lining has opening for the slot filter, so it has different size as it needs to add the seam allowance. That's why we cannot cut it at the same time with the main fabric. Now prepare to cut the lining. Fold the pattern horizontally in the middle like this. This will be an opening for the slot filter. Mark it up here. Here is our fabric for lining. The grain line is in this direction. Fold it horizontal. Put the pattern on top of the folding fabric. Add 1 cm for the seam allowance here. Pin the needles. Cut following the pattern, but don't cut the 1 cm seam allowance addition here. So here between the needle pins will be the slot filter opening which is about 7 cm. Soon the side of the filter opening first. So we'll be in this part and here. So do not sew the middle part. Let's sew the first part. other one. This is the same elements of filter opening, so the middle one has no stitch. Cut the folding line so it will be separate. The front side lining will be like this and here is the hole for putting the filter. Show the small hem finishing here. The wrong side result will be like this. And the opening is here. And this is the right side. Now attach the main fabric and lining together. Put the wrong side of the lining in the down part like this and the right side up. This is the main fabric. Put the main fabric right side together with the right side of the lining. Pin the needles all around. And let's start showing it. Remember 1 cm seam allowance. stitch, we can sew it by overlapping with the first stitch. And here is the result, and here is the lining and the slot filter opening. Cut the corner of the seams to make the other side smooth. Like this. All the corner have been cut. And here is the lining with the slot filter pocket. From this hole, we will turn it inside out. It will be look like this. We can make the corner neat like this. Fold the side to the lining side about 2 cm. Pin the needles. Show it with top stitching. Try to sew it on the edge to make it neat. And remember to lock the stitch before and after shoeing. The result will be like this. Do we 
it to the boat side. Remember to lock the stitch before and after shoeing. And here is the side of our fabric face marks. Trim all the unused thread. Now install the cord or the rope. Here is I will use two different cords which is the rope like this and the elastic cord like this. Cut the cord about 130 to 150 cm depend on what you need. About the same to the other rope. Put inside the folded side with you before with the help of safety pin following this direction. We start from here. Continue to the other side. result will be like this. Now we install the locker toggle. Or we can just use this kind of rope with the similar steps as the elastic cord earlier. tips to avoid the rope dislodge. Before wearing it, remember to wash and ironing it. Even though the fabric mask cannot prevent the virus infection, but it can prevent the direct contact of the hand to the mouth and our nose. So let's try it on. The opening of slot filter is here. This is our mask with lock cord toggle. Put the cord around the neck with the filter pocket to this side. Push the mask to the neck like this. Bring the lock cord toggle to the back of the head like this. Tidy it up. Set it fit and comfortable. This model is my favorite because it's simple, comfortable and fit on my face and also easy to make. Do not touch the mugs like this while you wearing it. The hygienic way to take off these mugs is by untie the lock cord toggle and then pull the mugs away from your face by holding it this corner. Take the cord off around your neck. Avoid the mask touching our part of the face like this. Uh, uh, uh. After we take it off, put it straight away to the laundry bag and remember to wash our hands afterwards. Bye guys, thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos and if you like this video, give me thumbs up, 